A mysterious priest? Unholy thoughts, unholy thoughts. You know they say devoting yourself to others without caring about yourself is called dedication. Well, let me dedicate myself to you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to if you are new. It's been a minute. Um, <laughs> it's definitely not because I keep scrapping every video that I film because I don't like it. As you guys saw from the title, you guys already see what we're doing today. Okay, so this is the game that we are going to be playing. It's called Ikiman Vampire Otomo Game. So basically, Ikiman is just like perfect, hot guy. Like a really good looking guy. I hope we can create our own avatar because, because I want to be black. <laughs> I'm so excited. Why does it have to be under the age of 20? Is it real freaky? Ooh, I'm not about to read this. Y'all can steal my data, hack my phone, get my location, I don't care. Oh. There's so many choices! Tap the screen to start reading the prologue. Once you're in the story screen, tap anywhere to continue. You can also skip the prologue for now and read it later. Let's just skip it, honestly. We can read it later, because can we just get to the, the good stuff? Okay, trailer. Oh. Napoleon Bonaparte. Boys? Is it getting hot up in here? Dang, there are a lot of candidates. Oh, oh. Was that her boob? Oh. I feel like I need my earphones in for the, the, the most immersive experience ever because why are they moaning and groaning up in my ear? The charismatic leader, Napoleon Bonaparte. Is this where I can like pick my person? And why exactly should I shake your hand? I don't like your attitude. You're a unique one. You make a fascinating study for my research. Leonardo da Vinci? Dazai? Oh. Oh, he's pretty. He's very pretty. Wait, I don't want to pick one. I want it all. I'm going to go with Faust. A mysterious priest? Sorry, sorry. Unholy thoughts. February 29th. He has the same birthday as my boy. I just want to see if he talks. If he doesn't talk, I'm going to turn off the sound because it low-key irritates me. Who decides a person's fate? If this was my predetermined outcome, I would defy even God himself in order to change my fate. I reached out with helpless hands. 19th century Paris. One month had passed since I had slipped through a strange door and ended up in the mysterious mansion. Thank you all for such a lovely banquet and thank you so much for everything you've done for me. As we stood in front of the heavy wooden door that led back to my world, I looked around at everyone's faces. I can't believe it's already been a month since you came here. I wish you all the best, Triana. The thought of never seeing your smile again is just too sad. Stop flirting. Stop flirting. That's what they're doing. They're trying to flirt and keep me to stay. But guess what? I got I got business with Faust. How dare you make Broer sad? You've been a bad dog right until the end. It's a shame I can't discipline you anymore. They discipline me how? Elaborate. Demonstrate. Oh, please. We all know you're just as sad, Theo. And to be honest, so am I, Triano. Uh, I don't like saying my name. See, that's why I always pick different names because when I say my name, it just doesn't sound good. Like Triana, Triana, Triana. No, I'm going to miss you. Oh, I don't know you, but I'm gonna miss you too. Can, can we get to Faust? That's why. Ah! He looks good. He looks real good. You've left your claw marks on, your, on our hearts. Such a sinful person. Why don't you leave them on your back? Watch how I'm moving I should have been getting... That was corny, boo. Tomato, tomato, stop. You're all terrible at goodbyes. <laughs> no, for real. I'll see you soon. It's not a goodbye forever. I'm literally gonna be down the hall with Faust. Like, I felt hot tears prick in my eyes with every word they said. Are, are we supposed to be crying? Oh. <laughs> but Leonardo was right. I wanted to say goodbye with a smile on my face. And so I bit my lip hard to stifle the tears. Cringe. I'm not about to do that. No. No. You'll never see me do that. And if I do, check me. Please. Am I wild? Why is this dream I never 
expected that I would travel through time to past, and certainly not to a mansion full of great historical figures turned vampires. Okay, so that's the plot. Historical figures turned vampires, got it. Each and every one of them had found their way into my heart so much that I wondered if it had been destiny that I came here. I hate to say it, but it's time to leave. I was great, you say, leave back to the future. You say, get out. You overstayed your welcome. That's basically what I'm hearing. I hate to break it to you, but you gotta go. Where is Faust? Isn't he supposed to be like the knight in shining armor and be like, wait, Triana, don't leave. Like, the residents all stood watching while Le Comte, Le, Le, Le Comte <laughs> opened the heavy wooden door and what lie beyond should have been a hallway decorated with antiques, but, huh? Instead, a twisted abyss was revealed, swirling ominously before us. What's going on? What? What's? Sorry. That's it? We didn't even get to see Faust. Bro, I only have four tickets. I had once made my mind up to leave this world, but here I was, still going about my daily routine as if nothing happened. I never would have guessed that the door would be malfunctioning. And my guess is that Faust had something to do with it. He didn't want me to leave. So he was like, and then boom, I stayed. This is the first time that this has ever happened. I don't think I'll be able to safely escort you through the warped space. I'm sorry, Tree, but would you mind staying here at the mansion until we can get to the bottom of this? Of course I don't mind. I was unsure whether I'd been able to return to my own world. The uncertainty of future gave rise to anxiety. Why are we anxious? Like, I thought we liked it here. Like, you already spent a month. Might as well move in. Are we gonna run into Faust? Please let us run into Faust. Like, I've been dying of boredom. Eventually, I found myself in the outskirts of town. A church? I had no idea such a lovely building was out here. Poor woman, why couldn't we give her a name? Excuse me. Yes, can I help? you? Spare some change for a poor woman. My son contracted an illness and I have no money to buy him medicine. Give the lady some money. Give her everything that we got. The woman wore tattered clothing. I could tell from just one look at her that she was down on her luck. I'm sure any little bit of money would help. Please don't tell me it's like give her money for 30 tokens and then walk away, spit on her, look at her with disgust for free. But I only have the wallet containing the shopping funds right now. I don't have the right to spend it on anything else. I tried to think if there was anything at all I could do to her. Do to do her? You mean do for her. When suddenly I heard a deep voice. Can we hear it? He finally appeared! Our knight in shiny armor! Take this. It's not alms, but perhaps it can be some be of some use to you. A man with a calm demeanor who wore glasses appeared from the church. It's specifically compounded medicine. Give it to your son three times a day. Oh, and he's nice! If he gives it to her for free, then we're instantly like, where's the ring? He slipped the bottle of medicine he carried into a pouch and handed it to the woman. I took out my portion of the bread I'd bought today from my shopping bag. Um, this isn't much, but please take it. The woman took the bread and thanked me over and over again, then turned and went back down the road. I feel like she should be thanking the priest. Like, I'm sure you were just passing by, but thank you for your kindness to her. Of course, of course. So, um, are you gonna give me a tour of your church? Uh, your home? Bed? Uh it appears that it's time for you to make a choice. <gasps> I hope he gets better. It's a golden rule and I wanted to help. I'm just gonna say I wanted to help because I wanted to help. I just wanted to do something to help. Unfortunately, the bread is all I could give. You know they say devoting yourself to others without caring about yourself is called dedication. Well, let me dedicate myself to you. I'm sorry. Not many people would offer to help a stranger without hesitation. You're a very compassionate person. Thank you. His eyes are pretty, like the like snake eyes. It's getting very like mysterious yet. <laughs> really, it's not that big of a deal, but don't let your feeling of pity for others consume you. Ugh, like why his whole face change? Like why he move the, like smile, I, 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 I I sensed the coldness to his voice all of a sudden, and I start. I stared back at the priest. I love a little coldness. I love it. I love it! His hazel green eyes seemed even sharper when he narrowed them behind his glasses. Mm. Stop! Stop! Okay, depending on your choice, the following will increase. Romantic points only, dramatic points only, both romantic and dramatic points. Can we get the romance to increase? Like, like let's get that up there. Let's get it up. They're going so slow! <laughs> I do have to end the video here because I have work at 12 and it is currently 11, so I have to get ready for that. Have oh, fun, yay, love that. This one was going a little bit slow. I feel like it's because like I like to jump into stuff, but if you couldn't tell already, I'm low-key an impatient person, which is not a good thing. It's not a good trait at all. It's not a good look for me. But it's just like, can we get to the f With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wonder if there are gonna be like bedroom scenes. Because it was 17 plus. Okay, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>